<laughs> while the European scene is already dead, for me as European that's terrible news, because European scene struggles without tournaments and weeklies from Oryx, which is very ironic for a game that's supposed to be very competitive, right? Uh, <laughs> it's very funny how CSGO is now dominating the EU scene, while Valorant has nothing against that, legit nothing. The global pandemic that is COVID-19 has brought a wealth of new challenges, of course, to citizens and companies alike, even, even right, with everyone attempting to find a new balance of supply and demand without erroneously killing themselves or others. One aspect of that is consistently comes to light within esports is the need to cut tournaments into regions for the sake of ping. So you don't want to be building fucking South Korea over there just to be playing against, you know, players in US because someone is going to have 300 ping. For example, to be able to compete against an Eastern US team on a server that is based on Dallas. So we have the Overwatch League showing regional play with a relatively shallow pool. Counter-Strike, for example, has a massive shakeup impending whether Europe stops playing against themselves and gets back into the stomping ground of NACS. We have esports. Like, this is a huge problem. Nobody talks about this because this is a huge problem. Imagine you can't go to tournaments anymore because it's quarantine, right? We have esports around the clock and it's a strange parade that never ends. Yet while some posit that the NA scene of Counter-Strike is beginning to suffer during the violence release as young players flock to be a part of grassroots of the eventual league, so people want in. People are rushing in, they're running in, they want to be the number one in Valorant, right? An opposite reaction is occurring in Europe regarding Valorant. It's just sad, it's sad. There simply aren't enough tournaments and weeklies happening to bring a new community to life. Europe has historically been in love with Counter-Strike. And they tend to dominate entitled and looking for international trophies alone. So while the West sees many shifting over Valorant due to the uh, current state of CSGO, not many in Europe and rather eager to take a new continental law hobby. So um, I'm guessing in EU it's very popular, but um, Valorant in EU is dead. That's sad. I'm kind of from EU, so I also have EU servers. We kind of have to wait for players. Through kind of blows, all the tournaments are in NA, with no TOs wanting to get in. Tournament organizers, basically, that means in scene. Some posit that it's a lapse of judgment or accuracy from Riot Games in pinpointing the general lack of interest of players within Europe, and others pointing that the colossal success of Counter Strike closing the European market by such a massive margin. So it could either be um, that uh, Riot failed in Europe, or it could be Counter Strike won in Europe. So take it as it is. Um, that Riot would see this heartening return on whether investment they sunk. Zero tournaments to play in, not even weeklies. Where this could bleed into whatever League of Legends envisions, usually becoming a more NA focused league, which I don't believe Riot is always gonna have a strong control in League, or if their visions simply haven't taken root in Europe they have hoped. It's an interesting or probably precarious situation to find themselves in depending what their vision for a title you don't is it or will become. It's worth noting as we apparently need to include this disclaimer every time Valorant is mentioned that this does mean that Valorant has suddenly died off or is dimmed the flare. Of course not. It's an early game that needs to be fixed. A lot of things are a huge problem in Valorant. As it's on the bin, Valorant is suffering within the European scene due to an apparent lack of interested organizations willing to funnel money yet into another esport. And that's completely fine. Are you gonna funnel your money into, I don't know, um, a small business store uh, in the middle of a desert? 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 Yeah, no, you're not gonna do that. What you're gonna do is funnel it into the big cities where a lot of traffic is coming in. So for example, when I'm talking about this desert, when, when there's no eSport established yet, um, and I'm talking about CSGO, that's the big city, that's where the money comes in, that's where the money rolls in, that's where the sponsors are already established. It's a big problem. Tournament organizers don't want to funnel in money, because, I don't know, I guess there's not a lot of hype, and it's a paradox, you see? Tournament organizers don't want to put in money, and what happens is there's not going to be enough interest in that, because there's no tournaments. So it kind of repeats itself, right? And there's no really issue or there's that's not really a fix for this other than Riot making a statement on this. Hey, we're going to focus on the European tournaments. We're going to, you know, do something better for you. I guess it kind of hits the player count in EU as well because EU long waiting times are 
kind of a thing, kind of a thing. Even even in like, I don't know, Scream has to wait probably like 10 minutes just to join his Radiant match, which is fucking crazy for a game that just released five months ago. But if this continues to happen, it's not looking good for Valorant at all. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and this is Fatman, sign out. Peace, guys.